Got it. Okay. Well, I would love to say hello and to welcome everybody. I don't see anybody's faces. Do you guys normally just don't um, go on camera? It's okay. I, I do that a lot too when I'm in classes or if I'm doing something, at least I'm present. Oh, there's somebody. And I don't see names, I think, until you say something. But okay, so I'd love to just start and welcome everybody. So my name's Yvonne Zinsman. I'm in Keller Williams San Jose Gateway. And I was invited to help with the Ignite class for this morning by Laura Gleason. She was our team leader uh, before she came to Santa Clara office and got my license in 06. So I've been in real estate for 15 years. What I'd like to do, um, there looks like there's about 10 or so. If we can all just introduce ourselves, just take about 15, 20 seconds. What I'd like to know is like, what I would like if everybody can share is um, your name, uh, which office are you and how many, how long have you been in the business? So uh, anybody can start. Don't be shy now. I'll start. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. How you doing? Good morning. I'm Rich Tran. Uh, I am not even started yet. I do not have my license uh, working on it. Should have it soon, but um, I've been kind of going through all the trains here at Silicon City uh, since um, probably like around the summertime. So um, happy to be here. Thanks. Wow. What an amazing um, way to start. Thank you, Rich. Okay, who's next? I'd like to Hi, share. I'm a, I'm a Robbie Catrice. I'm um, joining uh, Silicon uh, or Santa Clara, and I uh, I'm pretty new as well. Actually, I'm, I I I just uh, a couple of weeks ago passed my licensing exam, so I'm still Woo. fairly new as well. So, yeah, okay. thank you. Congratulations! Welcome to the world of real estate. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Go ahead, you guys. Good morning, and thank you for being here with us today. We really appreciate your time and um, and uh, can't wait to hear all the knowledge you share with us. My name is Melissa. I'm with Silicon City. Um, I joined um, the real estate industry in April of 2019. Um, I was kind of inactive, um, mostly doing trainings during 2020. Um, so I consider 2021 my first real year in real estate. Wonderful. Thank you, Melissa. Hi, I'm Linda Harrow, and I've been with Silicon City um, officially since February, um, but I did a whole lot of training with them prior to that. Um, Silicon City is, is wonderful for their training and their opportunities. And so um, this is what my eighth or ninth month. Um, I've already had two um, offers that I put in, but they weren't accepted, but that's okay. The year is still young. <laughs> Amen. Good job, Linda, thank you. Okay. Good morning. My Good name morning. is Megan. I am um, working with Silicon City. Um, I got my license just this past July of this year, so just about three, four months in, and yeah, I'm excited to continue learning from you. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Nice. Thank you, Megan. Hi, good morning. My name is George Lean. I'm in Silicon City. I started in 2016 um, as a real estate investor. I am licensed in Miami, and wow. this year license in California. Wow, that's neat. What was your first name? George Lean. George? George, George Lean. George, George Lean. Sorry, I don't see the name on, I don't know why it doesn't pop up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, there it is, George Lean, thank you. Did we get everybody? Hi. Uh, no. Hi, my name is Tim. Um, I, I'm newly licensed. Uh, 
joining Silicon City. Um, I'm happy to be here and learn from you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Great, Tim. Love it. Congratulations for getting into real estate. Hi, my name is Calvin, and uh, I just joined uh, uh, KW in uh, Oakland Road. And I, I just, I'm, I'm still new. I've been, I have the license for a few months, and I still have my full time job. I've decided to quit in a couple months so I can concentrate on real estate. Yeah, thank you for That's being cool. here. Thank you. Um, wonderful, Calvin. Welcome to the real estate world. Thank you. Okay, did we get everybody, you guys? Alice, I see Alice's name. It's okay, maybe you might be driving or not able to, um, oh, there you are. Hi, Alice. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm with KW Silicon City. I'm driving right now. I've been with uh, Silicon City for a couple of years and then I still want to learn. And then thank you for having us today. And then we would want to learn more about the topic of the day. Yes. Thank you, Alice. Um, it's always good to have, um, you can tell Alice is a student at heart because she's been in the business already a couple years and she's still learning. Uh, and I'm the same way. I'm a student at heart because it's, you could never, uh, we should never stop learning and, and, and sharing with each other. So did we, we get everybody? As mo I, the best we can. Uh, I mean, does anybody see this? Anyone we might have missed? It it just helps. It helps just to know um, who's on the in the class today and kind of where everybody's um, experience is. Anybody join after? I just we're just saying hello and and um, letting everybody know which office you're with and how many how long you've been in the business. Okay, well, let's, let's go ahead and start. I see a couple of people joining in. Um, if you'd like to put it in the chat, just let us know who you are, what, what office and how long you've been in business. So, um, because this is my first time with you, however, with Keller Williams, we're like family. And that's what I love about our company. I've been with Keller Williams seven years. I started at an independent brokerage where, where I learned my rookie years, which I was extremely thankful for. And when I came to KW, I was just blown away with the education and the culture. And I'm extremely grateful uh, for our company. And it allows us to do this, is to network, so this is networking. Please take this opportunity to network with each other and to um, help each other because that's what we do. I'm not an expert. I'm just willing to share what I've, uh, I've gone through and what I've learned. I am on the ALC. I've been on ALC uh, five years, six years. And it's just a way to help give back a little bit of because we've all started where all of you have started. Um, I remember those good old rookie years uh, and, and they were fun years. And um, this is a great time. And some of you might feel overwhelmed, especially those that are just started and just got their license. It's, um, it's, there's a lot to learn. So, so take your time, go to the classes like you're doing, jot down your questions. So. In a class format, a one hour class, there's no way to teach you everything. This is to give you an overview of whatever the topic is for the day. Then you build on that. Um, I'm sure some of you have mentors or your coach. I'm not sure exactly how your, your office is formatted, but you're gonna have some type of leadership that um, will be helping you. Okay, so let's get in it to it. Um, what we're talking about today is getting into contract. Woohoo! So what I like to say is I like to generate business. I don't like to just go ahead and generate leads. You, you hear a lot about lead generating, lead generating, um, which is kind of true. It is lead generating, but I always like to say, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm working on generating some business because what we want to do 
is getting a contract. That's the goal, okay? Um, and of course, there's ways to get to that point. And we are almost at the end of the Ignite sessions. I'm not sure if all of you have made it throughout all of them, but it looks like you've been recording these, your team leaders record it. So go back and listen to um, the ones you might've missed, or sometimes I like to listen to it again. And because when, when we're in class, sometimes it's, it's not that easy to, to catch everything. I, I usually just like to listen and, and not do a whole lot of notes. Okay, so today we're gonna focus on um, these highlighted areas. We're gonna talk about, okay, what do we do once we get into a contract? How do we manage the closing, the transaction? What does this mean, vendor management? And then compliance and risk management. Okay, so it's all about our timelines um, once we get into contract. I shouldn't say it's all about contract uh, timelines, but it's one key. So there are a handful of, and please go ahead and if you have any pressing questions, just speak up, okay? You don't have to raise your hand or anything, just speak up. We are gonna save a little time at the end, maybe 10 or 15 minutes to answer any more specific questions. So I'm keeping an eye on the clock because some of the, your questions might be answered as we go, go along. So, so the timeline now, we have buyer side and seller side, right? So. For right now, there, this one is the buyer side. The next slide is seller. Um, many of it will overlap, but there's some obviously that are unique to each category. So it sounds like possibly um, we have only had maybe one or two people on the, in the class today that have had any transactions. So those of you that have had transactions, please go ahead and don't be shy, you guys. This is interactive class, especially for me. I always like uh, people to interact. Um, before we start into this timeline, I, I jot down a few things for me that are important for my business. And I think all of you can agree, one of the main components in our business is communication. Whether it's at the beginning, trying to connect with clients or working on connecting with clients, uh, open houses, we, we're, we're communicating, when we're on the phone calling, following up, it's communication is an extreme key. So please keep that in mind. Uh, when you're in the transaction, once we get into contract, uh, communication, we have so many people that we have to communicate with. And we'll talk a little bit about that. So that's number one. Uh, the number two, uh, for me, that's really important. When I first started is like, gosh, I just need to understand the process. Once I understand something, then um, I can, what I do is find out what's best way that I wanna work it. Because I'm not sure if all of you know, but especially the newer people, this is our own business. We, we're not employees. We don't work for Keller Williams. We are our own business. So we have to decide how we wanna take care of our business and how we wanna take care of our clients. And um, we each have our own personality. We have strengths and we have um, things that we're not so strong on. So uh, everybody's gonna do it a little bit differently. There honestly is no right or wrong. There are components that are mandatory, such as disclosures. And um, for most of you, I'm certain that you're gonna probably be using a transaction coordinator. So um, can somebody let me know who is a transaction coordinator in your offices? And, and is it mandatory to use a transaction coordinator in your office? Does anybody know? I'm not sure if it's mandatory, um, but I know that we have three um, oh, okay. in our office here. Hmm. And Melissa, you at Silicon. Okay, anybody? Silicon um, City. Yeah. And what about Santa Clara? Do is it or is it combined? You guys have all three separate. Well, uh, let's see. Robbie in Santa Clara. Do you know if you have a transaction coordinator? 
Um, I know that we do, and we're encouraged to use um, use one uh, the first few transactions and and continue on. Um, that's kind of okay. what we're encouraged, but to still learn the process. But um, I, I'm not familiar with who they are, but I do okay. know that we have at least one or two. Okay, great. Well, the transaction coordinator, gosh, um, I I definitely use ours. Um, I've used her from the very beginning. I did when I came to this office. I did do the cup first couple on my own just so I can learn, but of course I already had experience. But for newer agents, definitely I advise it. Then after you get maybe a little bit more familiar, you can do it on your own. It's for me, it's well worth. Uh, they spend a lot of time with the paperwork and also other things. So um, just look into it. This is your time to, to understand the process then as i mentioned just understand the process see what key uh, what um uh what uh, what's the word i'm looking for the tools what tools you're going to need for each phase of the process and um then you can implement it as you like okay the other so there's we talked about communication understanding the process uh, the third one for me is um, keeping my clients informed at all times. Extremely important. That goes along with the communication. Uh, it's hand in hand. But we don't want our clients to say, oh, gosh, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, oh, I got to call Yvonne because she's not letting me know what's going on. Um, very rarely do my clients have to call me and ask me, oh, what's next? Oh, what's happening? Okay, so I think that's key. My, my last one that I wanna share is that being organized. On a scale of one to five, anybody here, and then five being like super organized, is anybody here a five? Don't be shy. If you're five, be proud. <laughs> who who here? Is four. Okay, Melissa, you're four? I'm an aspiring five. I might be a five, but feel like it's still not good enough. <laughs> oh no, you're five. I can tell already. <laughs> I can I'm tell. A four. I will say. What's that? George Lee. Four. Four. Great. Anybody else a five? I I would say I'm a three and a half. <laughs> hey, and it doesn't matter where you're at. Where you're at is where you're at. Because see. That's not one of my super strengths, but one of my super strengths is communicating, connecting, and um, relationships. So what do I do with that part that I'm not that strong? My TC, her name is Lindsay. <laughs> so, and like here, Lindsay, here, here's the paperwork. Oh, can you please do this on command? Now um, you have Alan, who's super tech. And I'm sorry, I don't know in Silicon Valley, uh, Silicon City, who, who is your tech, but I'm sure you guys have a lot of tech people that's really strong in technology. Um, so especially for the newer people, there's quite a few. Command is our resource that Keller Williams has created and it's wonderful. There's a lot of components. So you have to learn that. Today, we're not gonna be even touching on command. Uh, there, but it is a very, um, it's an extremely powerful tool for all of us. And we're all gonna use it in different ways, okay? So again, those four things, communication, understanding the process, um, keep our clients informed and being organized. And just because I'm not a five, that doesn't mean I'm not organized. Okay, I know that's kind of contradictory, but um, I'm organized in my own mind. <laughs> okay, alrighty, timelines. So RPA, good old residential purchase agreement. That is our bread and butter. For those of you that are from A to Z in, in your um, experience, get strong on the RPA. RPA is our timeline. And um, I would advise you to really get strong and, and start there. Just read it every day. One, take one page at a time. There's 32 paragraphs. In a couple of months, we're changing to a, a revised. But start learning 
the existing, the current RPA. Okay, it's gonna, it's, it's our, it's our foundation. So this buyer timeline is just an example. And now you guys have your, uh, st uh, not study guide, but the student guide, right? All this is in your student guide. So we get into contract and here we work with the lenders. We have inspections. We have to have home insurance for our clients, home warranty, and then we close. Okay, I'm just going through this really quick. Uh, seller, the seller accepts an offer. Um, let me stop real quick. Keller Williams is national, actually is we're worldwide. So some of these things are not gonna be really what we do in our area because we mainly do inspections up front here. I would say 90% of agents, we do inspections up front or we encourage it to be up front. Okay, so this could be pushed here. So this is just an example. We have to, um, oh, it even says here, add all the milestones for your local market. Appraisals, and then we close. Okay, now we're not together. This is typically done in in-person. So then we're, we would be putting in where we communicate, but there's communicate, communication points are every single day, every single day. I'm not saying you have to communicate with your client every day, but we are communicating with someone every day. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, the documents, this also uh, is very helpful with our transaction coordinator and, um, and, and your, your office staff. Do, does everybody know what um, disclosures are necessary for a transaction yet? We got a shy group today. What would be a TDS, a natural hazard disclosure? Mm -hmm. Yep, those are part of it. That's, that's part of our disclosures, right? Yeah, so documents would be, again, we have buyer side and seller side, but we usually need a contract. For a seller, that's a listing agreement. For a buyer, that's the residential purchase agreement. Those are our contracts, right? Uh, then we need our disclosures. Uh, each of our different offices will have uh, also their, their disclosures. The other party, the other principal, whoever, whoever you're in contract with, that office might have their specific disclosures. So this is the documents, okay? And you'll learn all this as you go. There's no way that you're gonna learn everything you need today. Today is just an overview to, to let you start thinking is like, oh, okay, what is the process? You know, Yvonne shared about, that's one of the key points is the process. Oh, you know what? I gotta learn the process. Well, again, start in the RPA. Um, now, we'll get to this in just a moment as far as, you know, what risks are involved. But I wanted to, um, which one is that? Hold on one second. Okay, let's, let's start with this one. I know I'm, I'm backtracking one bit, but. So whenever we get into contract, we're always gonna have a cooperating broker. What that means is the other agent and the other party. In my mind, it's not us against them. This is how I look at our, my transactions. It's, it's, a, it's a team effort. If you have that mentality, um, it will really help you because you, you, you wanna help them out. I've had so many times when as a listing agent, contracts come in, offers come in and things are not filled out. Um, sometimes things aren't signed. They don't have a lot of things completed. So I just connect with them and I say, you know what? Hey, thank you for your offer. But you know what? Before I can present this, there's a, quite a few things missing. Do you mind um, whatever it might be? Can you feel, can you complete X, Y, and Z? Okay, so that's part of our role. And that's just one small example of, of working, um, helping their transaction along. We wanna help things. We don't wanna hinder things. 
Okay. So if you have that mentality to be a team player, I've got a sports sports background. So uh, it's just in me to be a team, uh, a team player and the, the, the team concept that is also with um, your office staff, your, your lender, your title rep, the inspectors, everybody. Um, there are things that will come up and you need, you need that support. So you want to be pleasant. You want people to, to um, want to help you. And the way to encourage that is to be that way first. Okay. So you're going to example that I have um, just, I just closed a contract, uh, a, a transaction and I was a listing side and the buyer's agent. And she was very new. I don't know how new, but for her license, she was on the newer side. And I was very impressed. The first thing, one of the first things she told me, she said, you know, Yvonne, I don't want you to worry about a thing. Now, I don't like when people say, I don't, don't worry. But she said, you know what? I'll take care of everything. I'll take care. I'll make sure. She kept saying, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. So I, I really appreciated that about her. Um, and it really stood out to me because that was, that's extremely rare. Many times other agents will say something like, hey, well, hey, you know, I need this. How come you haven't gotten this to me? You know, um, so huge difference huge difference the way we approach and we communicate with the other party and i will share with you um when COVID hit last year it was something else it it was um so much uncertainty right you guys it, just in general our our daily lives what's happening you know our families our our um, our homes whatever uh, some people still work part time or full time. When I first started, I was in transition for from for my first seven years. I was still working another job until I could transfer uh, full time. So last year, I told myself that even though I'm already on that wavelength, I was even extra extra when I got into contract or when I was communicating with the other agents. Like, hey, you know what? If you need anything help, just let me know. And either side, and we're still in a pandemic and there's still a lot of uncertainty and there is um, still a lot of fear, I think. Um, I, I've felt it, I I've, have I've felt the fear, the, the anxieties. Um, so be the person that, uh, like that agent I shared just a moment ago, Go over and beyond whenever you can. Okay, that's my suggestion always. Go over and beyond whenever you can. Okay, so this is talks about the relationship. It's super important. And something might come up where you might need help. Maybe something on our timeline. Oh, we need a few more days. Oh, the lend, you know, this appraisal is taking quite long you know we just need a couple more days so as long as we communicate of course somebody's gonna they all we all understand what's going on here in this industry right now um, we have to be extremely flexible right now too and cordial and kind it does not help to badger somebody uh, i think we've all felt it whether it's in business work home when we went to school um you know, it's, it's not pleasant. Okay, I want to go back to here. Anything for um, up to this point? Anybody have any input? Anything you want to share with it, with us on what we've covered so far? Thank you, Yvonne. This is Tam. Um, you touched on a very important point that I want all the new agent to really um, take it to heart. And when you're working with the listing agents or the buy agents, uh, we all need to be professional and be nice to each other. Um, supporting each other in the transaction is so important, um, especially we all in it together. And there's, there's more often than not that I find we all stress out and we flex our muscle 
<laughs> and we acting like we are the principal, mm. and um, that would not take us anywhere. So the points are uh, well uh, discussed uh, throughout the sessions, and I hope that every new agent will take that to heart and remember this conversation that we have today. Uh, whenever you working with buy and seller and listing agents and buy agent, just just be kind, be professional. That will take you a long way. Amen. Anybody else? Thank you, Jam. Yeah, I'll add to that. Um, you really get so much more done when you have the team mentality. Um, and, and it's just an all around better experience, not only for the two agents involved, but also for your client. And I think that's very, very important because I mean, for my business, I'm, I'm really trying to build um, my business on as many referrals as possible and um, a great client experience, uh, uh, as stress-free as possible for my client is important to me uh, for that purpose of getting the referral at the end. Amen, I couldn't say it better myself. I wanna add on that note, was that Melissa? Yes. Okay, I wanna add with, with on to what Melissa and Tam just mentioned is that, um, let me see, how do I wanna say that? How do I wanna share that? Um, one moment, I thought I wrote down on my notes. Okay. Um, what I wanna add is that we're going to come up to upon hurdles. It doesn't mean everything is gonna be super smooth. What it means is, is when something, we're the buffer, we're the professional, okay? We don't want our, our, our clients, for right now we're talking about clients. So our clients are, have enough stress already just daily lives. Gosh, I have seven grandchildren. So last year, um, they all went to the, um, uh, what do you call that? Not virtual learning, but let's call it virtual learning, but you know, at home learning. And then parents had to stay home too and, and um, work from home and try to coordinate everything. And some, some parents have to still go to work, but their kids have to stay home and, and um, uh, go to school you know, distant learning, that's what it is, distant learning. So anyway, there's a lot of stress. And what we want to be, my goal is I want to be the buffer. I am not going, so let me give you an example. Okay, Melissa, can you role play with me? Okay, sure. you're, you're my seller. Okay. Okay. Oh, Melissa. Hi, this is Yvonne. Oh my God, you, you can't believe now what the buyer is asking for. You know, it's just that agent, I really don't like that agent. She is just, uh, she is not doing a good job. And oh, now they want, they want you to fix the roof, the plumbing and all the termite work. I, I just can't believe they're asking that. You're freaking me out. Yeah, see, okay. <laughs> okay. I know I'm exaggerating, but I've, I have seen it and I've heard it. Okay. Versus, uh, hi, Melissa, how are you doing today? I'm great, Vaughn. How are you? Oh, good. I just wanted to check in. Mm -hmm. uh, I did get a call from the buyer's agent and they are looking to possibly be asking for some requests for repairs. So once I get all that, um, I will be presenting that to you and we're just going to take it step by step and, and we'll see, we'll see how best to um, address that. Okay. I just wanted to give you a little heads up. Sure. sure. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, great. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Now, usually it's going to be something before and after, right? But we we just want to be a matter of fact. We don't want to come and give our clients, is it great news? No. Is it bad news? Not really. It's just a matter of fact. Okay. Keep that. Uh, I learned that from my first broker and it was so helpful because us as new agents, which most of you guys are on this call or this class, you're going to freak out. You're going to freak out. Okay. You're going to say, oh my God, this, that, that, what? Oh my God, now it's, there's repairs and oh, now we have this new disclosure and now what do I do? Oh my gosh. Okay, freak out on your own. Go talk to your mentor. Go talk to um, who was else was the two-year one. <laughs> Sorry, whoever that was, your ALC members. That's what your colleagues are for. Talk it out, get a 
get a clearer picture of the task, then call your client. If you ever want to call me, you can call me and practice on me. Okay, um, again, that's the beauty of KW. We're a family. Okay, just be, and, and I've, I've gone to almost every KW in this Bay Area because if there's a class that I like, I, I, that I need, I go attend. So anyway, cause I'm Bay Area girl. I was born in San Francisco, raised in Berkeley. We moved to San Jose about 40 years ago. So uh, I, I love the Bay Area. Uh, my clients take me all over and, um, I, and, I, and I love going to the different KW offices too, because again, network. Uh, I know we can't do it that much right now in person, but you can attend other classes, uh, uh, but let me not get off on a tangent. Again, remember I shared with you, I'm a student at heart. Okay, we have about another 15 minutes and there's a few things that I wanna make sure I, we cover. But you guys got the idea about, um, we don't wanna add more stress to our clients. We just wanna come, keep it short, whatever the message is. Um, I do like to um, celebrate milestones. Like when we get into, well, when we put in an offer, Hey, congratulations for putting in your offer. You know, I'm wishing you all the best on your offer. When we get acceptance, hey, Melissa, congratulations, your offer got accepted. Hey, but that's just the starting point. Um, I don't really celebrate until we close, until I'm able to give the key to my client. That's when I celebrate. Um, milestones, though, I think they're important. And I do take at least a little extra time, whether it's a text and I send them, hey, congratulations, um, you, you, your loan's approved. Hey, congratulations, uh, the appraisal came in at value. Congratulations. Um, it, it's encouragement. We should be encouraging. The process for both buying and selling these days is not simple. The best compliment at the end is like, gosh, you, you made it so easy for us. And that doesn't mean we didn't have hurdles. Okay, so best risk um, avoidance. Uh, somewhere in the, the, the um, material, it talks about pitfalls. I don't know, I don't consider them pitfalls. I consider them hurdles because we come up against hurdles all the time during our transaction. It could be, um, right at even at the beginning of the contract when we get into contract so if you got an accepted offer today let's say you guys got an uh, in contract today is today day one or is today day zero on our timeline i believe it's day zero that's correct so on our timeline, the day of the contract that we get into contract, and when you get into contract, that means both parties have completely signed. And the contract was delivered back to the listing agent. Okay, so that's day zero. Um, <clears throat> one to, one to uh, three business days, the initial deposit should be deposited. What if they don't deposit? Well, sometimes uh, it doesn't work out that they have all intention, but they couldn't get there or the wire just didn't go through. It goes back to my first key, communication. As long as everything is communicated, um, that puts people's mind at ease. If you're not communicating, then the other party is thinking, gosh, well, what's going on? So. Always, always the communication is the key. Now, I just want to go over, uh, let's see, where is the deal at risk of falling apart? What are best practices to keep the deal alive? What tasks have deadlines? Okay, so why don't we talk a little bit about um, what are some hurdles that might come up? For those of you that are a little bit more experienced or have um, heard a little bit more can anybody just give a couple of examples? Delayed appraisal. 
Oh, what appraisal? Oh, late. I found this on the web. Oh, yeah, delayed. Yeah, oh, um, delayed. That happened yeah. My, my last transaction, um, they were way out. Yeah, and we're all in it. We're all in it together. So key on that note is just check in with that lender. A good lender will call the listing side at least once a week, um, but many don't. So the key is the lender, just checking in with the lender. And if you're the, were you representing the buyer, Melissa? I was representing the buyer um, and I talked to the lender every two days. I talked to the listing agent one to two times a week and uh, my buyer every day. Great. And was, was every good communication? Was everybody okay? Even though. Yes. Thankfully, yes. I yeah. think if uh, the, the seller side was a little bit worried almost through the entire transaction because um, mm -hmm. it involved an FHA loan on a fixer, um, on a fixer probate actually. And uh, so when the appraisal was delayed, they, they were concerned, um, but I think the communication is, is what kept everyone calm and moving forward because we had to do extensions and all kinds of things. So. Yep. And, and everybody on this class, in this class, you're gonna have that exact uh, scenario that Melissa just mentioned. And all of us as an industry right now, appraisals are taking much longer than normal. So what do we do? Well, we have to pr prepare, you know, I didn't touch on that because our class is getting into contract, but real quick, we have to prepare our clients way ahead of time. Those other classes that you guys have been taking, just fill our clients in. We should always let our clients know what's happening in the market. Hey, the market's strong right now for both sellers and buyers. You know, uh, Sellers are getting still top dollars. Buyers are in a great position. The interest rates are extremely low still. They're in their threes and um, market's calmed a bit. So now the buyers have a little bit more chance is not as many, uh, uh, multiple, multiple offers. But I will like to let you know that appraisals are taking a little longer, you know, and so we just have to be a little patient, but I'll keep you informed every step of the way. Okay, it's key. All right, uh, one more example, anybody for uh, a hurdle that might come up? What about, what about if somebody gets sick? What about if somebody comes down with COVID? buyer, seller, the agents, what happens? Well, we have to go back to what Tam was mentioning. We have to be uh, compassionate. You know, uh, people are dying out there. It's sad, you know, I'm gonna have tears because it's so sad that people are dying out there, you guys. And then, and then we get all been out of shape because, oh, we're a little late on something. You know, we have to have compassion. So, um, and kindness. Oh gosh, sorry. I'm just really sad for all, all the people that this is affecting. It's really sad. So, um, you know, we don't want to put an extra burden on anybody. So just be compassionate. And, and kind and just say, gosh, I'm really sorry. How can I help you? You know, how can I, how can I help? Mary Woosley in, in our office, I, I call her my guardian angel. I, I met her when I first started. And she always says, even if it's on her voicemail, she says, um, let me know how I can help. You know, leave me a message. Let me know how I can help. It's like, wow, <laughs> it's amazing. So just wanted to give, sorry, got emotional. Okay. Um, the other, let's see, we have about 10 more minutes. So I do want to make sure I cover any pressing questions anybody on this in this class might have. Because right now the class, this is um, for all of you that have attended. The recordings, um, people are gonna be able to watch too, but would like to make sure if anybody has any specific questions, I'd like to go over that now and then just end on a couple of things. Anybody with pressing questions?
okay think about it let me know just call out um the uh, it's also a uh, contract to closing is once we get through all our tasks and there are many tasks um and i hope i don't lose you when i <laughs> click over i just wanted to show you a couple of checklists i don't know if some of you are um like checklist but if you do and it's good to have it, especially at the beginning i don't have checklists it's it's like second nature to me now but you know i do two to three transactions a, a, a month so but some of you are going to have way more than that so checklists are good and that's why being organized is good uh, and and so on so um the we also want to it, when we wow our clients, which we hope we do with our our expertise and our service, you know, for me, my I, I have high standards for myself, meaning for my service. Uh, I don't want to just be bare minimum. You know, I, whatever my clients' needs are, that's my task. That's my focus. I don't. I can honestly tell you, I do not focus on the commission. The commission is is a byproduct that's automatic. So why would we focus on the commission? I want to focus on my task. Okay, so um, part of that is also your vendors. Uh, the vendors are our title and escrow inspectors, our lender, a home warranty rep, NHP, NHD rep, insurance, uh, our insurance agent, uh, our photographers when we're on the listing site, our stagers, um, I've been doing a lot of virtual staging. So those are all our vendors. And then a whole nother component is when there's an HOA involved. So um, again, we had about, oh, let's say about 45 minutes together today, 50 minutes. So today's an overview. It's like, okay, so now my suggestion is to um, get back with your mentor or your, your colleague like, okay, what do we need to do moving forward? So, and I know a lot of the classes before this class is talks about what do you do? How do you work with buyers? How do you work with sellers and so on? So now this Ignite session, uh, which I loved when I first started, I've taken Ignite numerous times. It's to, for you now to get organized, organize yourself on what do you need to do? Do I need to make an appointment with my TC? Uh, what are what is the list of disclosures? They will have a checklist of uh, the disclosures, and um, you need to be able to read, uh, understand those. You need to read them because we have to explain that to our clients. Anything that our, we ask our clients to sign, we we should be explaining. Not we should. We need to be explaining that to our clients before they sign it. Okay. So what I want to leave you with. Anybody um, have any pressing questions? Um, so far, so good. Oh, wonderful. Good attitude. Um, but you guys got to take action after, right? Because um, my goal is to be more efficient in my business. You know, I, I'm good. I'm good in my business, but I want to be a little bit more efficient. So what does that mean? That means being uh, organized <laughs> again uh, with my paperwork. You know, when I what do I what do I need to do before an open house? I love doing open houses. Uh, I like to door knock. Since we were able to back in June of this year, I'm out there now back door knocking. You know, um, what about my marketing? Do I have things at my fingertips, or am I scrambling every time I have an appointment? All these things are important. So. All of you newer agents, uh, we, we should be um, generating business every day. How do we generate business? Who can tell me? Throw out, throw out some uh, ways that we generate business. Uh, door knocking, open houses, and uh, working your database, touching your sphere. Great. Anybody else want to add? Work in your farm if you have one. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. and, and how, how do you do that? Through, um, I send out flyers, written notice, written, handwritten notes, mm -hmm. um, door to door, like Melissa said, door knocking, um, yeah. just getting to know them and getting your face out there and making sure that they know that you're the neighborhood expert. Great. Thank you, Linda. Anyone else? What, what does anybody else do to generate business? You can do Facebook ads. Mm, social media. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has a listing in your office, ask them if you can promote it. It's the simplest thing and it costs zero money. Um, if you guys send me your email, I'm going to send you an example. My email is super easy. Yvonne at KW. I'm so thankful I got that. Uh, again, I'm super. Oh, there's a, okay. Yvonne at KW.com. Um, I have an Arnold property that as a cute, um, three bedroom, two bath It's up in, uh, in the Sierras. And I send it out to my database. I send it to my colleagues. I say, hey, can you please send this to your database? It's a way to touch base with your database. And for you agents, and for me too, I don't always have a listing going. It's um, what you do is you send it and you, you send it to your database and say, um, I just wanted to share my, uh, or my colleagues or our office's new listing, it's a, it's a great property. They don't care if it's yours or not. What you're doing is you're just letting people know that you're in the business. So when I'm working with my mentees, I let them know, it's like, hey, or anybody that I first meet and that's in our classes, I said, you know what our, you know what our job is? Talk to people. <laughs> it, can't, it can't be more easier than that. How do we generate business? Well, we gotta talk to people. Right. <laughs> I hope I hope you guys say yes. Uh, our job is to talk to people. Um, so the last thing I want to leave you with is. Um, OK. I kind of touched on this, but I just want to reemphasize it. OK, so realize what you need to get stronger. OK, so as we went through this class, I hope you thought, oh, gosh, I got to get stronger on the RPA or I, gosh, I don't even know what disclosures are. What is a disclosure? So you got to go find that out. There's so many resources that they're, they're at your fingertips. All our offices, all our KW offices have extreme amount of support. Um, so you got to find that resource. And then it could be your mentor, your coach, your colleagues, go to classes, your team leader. Um, oh, KW Connect. Can't show you how to do that now, but just a, a tremendous amount of training and education on KW Connect. Um, oh, and for me, uh, so I've been in business for 15 years. So there's certain people that I go with questions. So there'll be certain people that you connect with that's like, wow, you know what? Um, Alice is really strong with social media. I'm just gonna ask her if she can just help me with this one post. Of course, Alice, I'm not, um, actually Alice, I'm not um, volunteering you. I'm just using you as I see your name. Um, of course, she's gonna help you as long as she, you know, she has time. We have so many, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, not just skilled, but gifted, gifted people in our office, you know, got to help each other out. And that's what I want to leave you with. Um, anybody have, it's 10 o'clock and I want to respect your time is, does anybody have any questions that I might not have covered that you would want us to talk about before we say goodbye? Okay, well, I want to thank all of you for uh, nice to meet all of you and uh, hope to meet you one day in person and um, continue the, to 
to um, um, seek out whatever help you need and stay positive when when the times get tough, which they they will. Um, just stay positive, and you're going to get through it. We've all had many many um, obstacles and hurdles to get over, and that's part of the business. It's part of real estate, but it's extremely rewarding when um, you help your clients meet their needs. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, have the rest of uh, a great day, you guys, and happy holidays. Thank, thank you, you so much, so much Yvonne. Yvonne. Thank, thank you, you Yvonne. so much. Thank you, Yvonne, for your Hi, expertise and I sharing. Want, I just wanted to say before we um, everyone logs off, um, this concludes the entire series of Ignite. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of you agents who have been here almost every single day. I know who you are, but at the end of the day, whoever was able to make it, um, thank you for joining us um, on this amazing series. We had amazing speakers. So thank you, Yvonne, you were one of them. Um, our guest speakers were amazing. Um, if you guys are looking forward for the recordings, we will have those um, ready sometime by next month. Uh, Locke will start working on that and getting that onto the internet for you guys. And as far as um, KW Santa Clara Valley, um, I believe Olivia is going to be taking over on that. So if you have any questions about that, go ahead and just reach out to her um, and she'll be able to assist you. Um, thank you so much, guys. Have a thank wonderful you. weekend. Congratulations, you. everyone. You too. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Jackie. You're welcome. Appreciate your help.